I'm what's called a sedimentologist, and that's a, just a fancy term for somebody that looks at how loose material on the earth accumulates, whether that be in rivers, whether that be in the ocean. Through the investigation of, of sediments, we can tell a lot about how, about how the earth works. And most recently, uh, a graduate student of mine, Gabe Nelson, a colleague from the University of Wisconsin in Oshkosh, Eric Hyatt, and an undergraduate student that he and I co-supervise, Cole Edwards, were fortunate enough to be involved in a project together in northern Michigan. While working in northern Michigan, we found a layer of sediment of this material that was very old. It was almost uh, two billion years old. But this layer was really important and kind of special because it was actually the accumulation of material that was blown into the atmosphere from a huge meteorite impact that impacted Sudbury, Ontario about 1.85 billion years ago. And it was uh, the first discovery of this layer of sediment uh, in northern Michigan. Why is it important? It's important because it tells us some very fundamental things about the way this impact occurred and how it may have happened. And just to put this into context, this meteorite was larger than the meteorite that we think basically led to the extinction of the dinosaurs. So the amount of energy that was released upon impact was immense. And so you can imagine that as this meteorite slammed into the earth, that energy has to go somewhere that energy then basically broke up that rock, melted some of it, but threw a lot of it up into the atmosphere. The most important point is to understand that the Earth was different. That much of this early life was photosynthesizing, meaning that it takes light energy from the sun, like plants do today, and produce oxygen. Possibly what happened after this Im uh, meteorite impacted is you could um, stop photosynthesis across the Earth. Um, as a consequence of all this material being blown up into the atmosphere, basically blocking the sunlight out. And so it may have had a, a profound effect in a way um, on the evolution of early life because there was no mechanism for this life to make food. I hear at Acadia, um, it's, it's amazing to have such a strong undergraduate education but have such a strong graduate program as well because here's an example where we've got an undergraduate student from Oshkosh a graduate student from Acadia, both contributing to a research paper that, uh, no pun intended, was quite impactful in the earth science community.